Good morning, children. I hope you all are fine and safe. Yes, children, we are going to begin our today's session with the thought for the day. So, children, our today's thought for the day is believing in yourself is the first secret to success. That means if you believe in achieving your goals, right, and if you stay positive, if you work hard, definitely you will achieve success. Yes. So now, children, as you all know that in English, we are doing lesson number three, that is Rama learns to read. So in this lesson, the grammar topic that we are learning is simple past tense. So today, we are going to do the textual exercises for simple past tense. So uh, on page number 143, question number one is, Underline the verbs in the given sentences. Children, verbs are action words. Yes, as you already know. So, our first sentence is Anushka laughed loudly at the joke. Yes, so over here the verb or the action word is yes. Very good. Laughed. Laughed. This verb is in the past tense. Second sentence Faisal studied hard for the exam. So over here, over here, children. Can you tell me which is the verb? Action word. Studied. Very good. Yes. Even the verb studied is given in the past tense. Third sentence. Sam played football yesterday. So which is the verb or the action word? Played. Very good. Yes. Which is also in the past tense. Fourth sentence, Siddhi watched a movie with her parent in the theater. So, which is the verb or the action word? Watched. Very good. This verb watched is also in the past tense. Fifth sentence, Salman visited his grandparents during the summer holidays. So, now can you say, which is the verb? Visited. Very good. Which is also in the past tense. Now, children, let us go to the next page. That is page number 144. Yes, question number two. Identify the errors and rewrite these sentences. So, wherever we find errors in the spellings, yes, there we will correct the errors. And then we will rewrite the sentences again. So the first sentence is Ria studied from morning till night. Over here we have to identify the error. Yes. So that error is the spelling of studied. That means the verb study in the past tense. Yes. As we have already learned in the rules that when we have a consonant and y together that time we change the y to i and add ed so we are going to write the sentence like this ria studied from morning till night yes second sentence rehan played football yesterday so can you identify which is the error yes the Past form of played. Yes. Over here children. We have a wal plus y. Right. So whenever we have wal plus y. In the verb that is play. That time we add ed to make it past tense. Like this. Ryan played football yesterday. So play plus we added ed. Because over here, the last, as you can see, the wall A plus Y. Because it's the wall plus Y, that's why we add ED. Yes, third sentence, Tanya visited the Taj Mahal in December. Can you identify which is the error? Firstly, you have to identify the verb. Yes, so that is visited. You will write it this way. 
Tanya visited the Taj Mahal in December. Yes, you can see the spelling of visited. Visit, which is a base form of the verb. Next sentence. The shop closed early. Yes, so firstly we have to see the verb. So the verb is closed. Yes, the verb is closed and it spells like this. C-L-O-S-E-D. Right, so it is ending with E. So whenever the verb ends with E, we just add D to make it a past form. Like this. The shop closed early. Next sentence. Neha carried the baby in her arms. Yes, over here the verb is carried. Right, so we have a consonant plus Y. So, in the verb carry, we have a consonant plus Y. So, how do we make it into the past? Yes, we change the Y to I and add ED. So, the sentence is like this. Neha carried the baby in her arms as you can see over here. Number three, add ED, D or IED to the verbs given in the brackets to complete these sentences. So, the first sentence is the children, the verb is finish, their homework on time. So, the past form of finish, yes, because it is the base form of the verb, we will add ed. Like this, it will become finished. Second sentence, I dash my mother in the kitchen. So, the verb is help, which is again the base form. So, we will add ed. So, the sentence is, I help my mother in the kitchen. Third sentence, my grandfather dash the zoo. The verb is visit. To make it past, yes, again, it is the base form. So, we will add ed. It will become visited. Onya dash loudly. Yes, so the verb is cry. So, over here, you can see a consonant r plus y. When we have a consonant plus y, that time we change the y to i and add e like this. Sonia, cry loudly. Next sentence, Rama dash a movie. The verb is watch. So, this is also the base form. We write it like this, watched. Rama watched a movie. Next sentence, Swati dash her mistakes. So the verb is erase. To erase. Yes, as you can see, it is ending in E. So to make it into the past tense, to convert the present tense of this verb into past tense, we add only D. Like this, babies. Yes. Next sentence, Bora dash her to climb the wall. Yes, again you have a consonant R plus Y. So, come on, tell me. Right, very good children, very good. Now, question number four. Add ED, D or IED to the verbs in the brackets to complete this paragraph. Now, as you can see, we have a paragraph over here. The verbs are given in the bracket. So those verbs we have those verbs we have to convert it into the past tense. The verbs are in the present tense. We will convert it into the past tense. Let us read. Mohit was at Sue's house on Sunday. Sue dash a cake for Mohit. So the verb given over here is the verb in the past present tense is bake, which is ending in e. So, the past form will be baked. Very good. He dash it very much. The verb is like which is ending in E. So, we simply add D to make it into the past tense. Liked. He liked it very much. Mohit had a piece of the cake and dash. The verb is smile. Again, it is ending in E. So, how will we write? Smile. Very good. 
टू देन डैश पटेटोज दर्ब इज फ्राई सो देज अ कॉन्सोनेट प्लस वाय सो हाउ डू वी राइट इट इन टू द पास्ट टेन्स येस वी चेंज द वाय टू आई एंड एड ई डी लाइक दिस फ्राइड सो टू देन फ्राइड पटेटोज एंड शी ऑल्सो डैश एग्स so over here the verb is scramble the verb is scramble it is ending with e so how do we make it into past tense yes we simply add d it becomes scrambled so she then fried potatoes and she also scrambled eggs mohit dash salt and pepper on the potatoes and eggs over here the verb is sprinkle which is ending in e so how do we make it past yes past tense by adding ed it will become sprinkled just we will add one d over here s p r i n k l e d sprinkled yes so mohit sprinkled salt and pepper on the potatoes and eggs e he dash the meal so the verb over here is enjoy which is the base form so how will you convert it into past tense yes by adding ed so the verb will be e n j o y e d enjoyed so he enjoyed the meal mohit and siu then dash table tennis the verb over here is play we have a wal plus y so how will you change this present tense of play into the past tense yes by adding ed very good children it comes played now question number 5 write three things you did last weekend use verbs that end in d ed or ied so children now this question number 5 is your practice work right you can write it and then we will share it in the class now children we will come to page number 149 question number 1 underline the verbs in their past tense so here we have a passage wherein you will have to underline the verbs that are in the past tense so as you already know verbs are action words so here the verbs which are in the past tense we are going to underline them so let's begin reading first raghu and sham solved a jigsaw puzzle of the picture of an aeroplane yes so can you tell me which are the verbs those are in the past tense solved very good children raghu's sister helped him so in this sentence helped very good children she likes to solve puzzles so in this third sentence can you see any verb which is in the past tense no there is a verb solve but it is not in the past tense next one raghu's parents watched them so watched is the verb in the past tense over here they often play word puzzles with the children so can you tell me over here the verb in the past tense yes there is a verb play but it is not in the past tense next sentence over here raghu stared at the picture for a long time yes so verb in the past tense stared very good children he then plays the pictures of the outline over here placed very good placed is the verb in the past tense sham looked for the wings and the tail so verbs in the past tense looked very good that is a verb in the past tense they solved the puzzle in 15 minutes yes verb which is in the past tense solved very good children now question number 2 over here we write the sentences in 
past tense. Drop the S at the end of the verbs before adding B, ED or IED. So, where the question says that we have to rewrite the sentences in the past tense and we have to also see that when we convert the verb into the past tense, we drop S, right? So, let us see. The man crosses the river. Yes, which is the verb? First, we have to identify the verb. That is crosses, right? So, that this verb crosses, we will convert into the past tense. We will write the sentence like this. The man crossed the river. Second sentence. He rows a boat. So verb rows. Very good. So we are going to write it this way. He rowed a boat. Yes children. As you can see we have. Children, in this verb rows. As you can see, whenever we have a vowel plus a consonant together, we double the last letter. But if we have a vowel plus the consonants W, X or Y, that time we don't double the last letter. But we simply put ED to make it into the past tense. Third sentence, the boat stops near the bank. So, verb is stop. So, we will write it this way. The boat stopped near the bank. Now, as you can see over here, we have a vowel O plus consonant E. Yes. So, that time we double the last letter and add ED. It is only in the case of vowel plus W, X or Y, these consonants only that we don't double the last letter. Otherwise, whenever we have a vowel plus consonant, we double the last letter to convert the verb into the past tense. Next sentence, the man jumps out of the boat. So, verb over here is jumps. So, jump is the base form. So, we will simply add ed to convert it into past. The man jumps out of the boat. He wades through the water. Yes, children. The verb is wades. Right. Which is ending in, if you see the base form. That is, if you see the verb over here. Without S, that is wade. W-A-D-E. -E. So, it is ending in E. Yes. So, we are going to add D to make it into the past form. He waded through the water. Next sentence. He reaches the other side of the river. So, which is the verb over here? Reaches. That means reach. Yes, which is the base form. So, we will make it into past by adding ed. He reached the other side of the river. Next sentence. My grandfather jogs in the park. Yes. So, firstly the verb is jog. That means jog. Right. So, there is a vowel plus a consonant. So, how do we write it? Yes, we double the last letter. So, it becomes my grandfather jogged in the park. Now, children, we come to page number 150. Number 3, complete the crossword puzzle with the help of the clues given. Right? So here, as you can see, the first sentence, that is, it is showing four across. Across, that means it's a sleeping line position. Sleeping line. Okay. So the number four is over here. So that you have to identify. Across means sleeping line. Yes. So let us read the sentence. The woman dashed the clothes the river. So, now as you can see over here, four across, we have one, two, three, four, five and six letters. Yes? So, which verb in the past tense can we use over here? Washed. Very good. So, don't forget that you have to write the 
verb in the past tense that is washed in the squares given below. Yes, across as I told you is a sleeping line and you have to find out the number. Now this was 4 over here. So you will write in the place of 4 only. 4 across means 4 words are going to be there in the sleeping line. Next one. Now as you can see it is 5 across. So you have to find out where is 5 across. The elephant dash in the river. Yes, what can we write? Bathed. Yes. So you have to find out 5 across and accordingly you will write down. Children, when you write the verb bathed in the fifth one across, at the last, at the last, one extra square is given. So it's okay. You don't have to write anything over there. Let us see the next one now. Here, dash at the monkey's antics. So which verb? Six across you have to write. Laughed. Yes. You'll write where six across is given. That means number six in the sleeping line position. The baby dash loudly. Yes. Verb in the past tense. Cried. Very good. So seven across you will write it below. He dash hard for his test. Can you tell me? Studied. That is eight across. You will write it below. Shazia dash over the puddle. Yes. Jumped. Very good. So, 9 across you will write jump below in the puzzle given. Now, let us see down which sentences are given. Daddy dash dinner yesterday. It was delicious. Yes. So, work. Cooked. Very good. So, 1 down. That means 1 in the 1 number down means in a standing line position. You will write this work. In the past tense. Next, I dash many shells from the sea beach. Were collected. Very good. So, two down. That means two number you will find in a standing line position. You will write collected. Above, you have to fill in the puzzle also. Remember that children. The driver dash petrol in the car before starting the journey. So which verb can we write? The verb in the past tense? Filled. Very good. So 3 down. Wherever you see the number 3 down, that means in a standing line position, you will write the verb filled. Which is in the past tense. The police dash the robber's movement from the van. So the police, yes, watched. Very good children. Watched. The verb in the past tense is watch. So, four down. That means four in a standing line. You will fill in the puzzle. Yes? Please do that, babies. Alright. Now, we move ahead to page number 151. The table shows what journal, sorry, it is Jamal did last week. So, in this table, we are going to see what Jamal did in the last week. So, there is a table given which we are going to read. On Monday, Jamal, he played football. That means he played football on Monday. Tuesday, he studied for the test. Wednesday, he submitted his school project. Thursday, he visited his friend. Friday, he danced in the school drama. Saturday, he visited his grandmother. Sunday, he watched a movie. So, this table shows what Jamal did throughout the past week. So, based on this table, we have some questions over here that we are going to answer. Let us read. Answer the questions in past tense. So, yes, this is the schedule of Jamal last week. So, now last week what he did, we are describing it in this week. So, that becomes past. 
Yes, because these things you have already done, finished it in the last week. Yes, so we are going to see the questions now. When did Jamal visit his grandmother? Yes, how will we write the answer? When did he visit his grandmother? See in the table and tell me. When did he visit? Yes. So, he visited his grandmother on. Yes, children. Saturday. Very good. Next question. When did Jamal submit his school project? When did he submit his school project? You can see above in the table. When did he submit his school project? Yes, he submitted. Yes, you will write the verb in the past tense. Submitted his school project on, yes, Wednesday. Very good, children. Next question. When did Jamal play football? So, when did Jamal play football? Yes, Jamal played football on Monday. Very good, children. When did Jamal watch a movie? Yes, he watched a movie on Sunday. Very good. When did Jamal study for the test? Yes, he Studied. Very good. He studied for the test on Tuesday. Now, huh? last one. When did Jamal dance in the school drama? So, when did he dance in the school drama? Yes, he danced in the school drama on Friday. Yes, very good children. Very good. Excellent. So, over here children, we complete the textual exercises of simple past tense. Yes? Okay. So we'll see you in the next session now. Till then, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye children.